Hey lovely people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl. Do me back again with another video for you guys. I'm coming to you guys with a full face beat already on. But let me just say hi to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. And if you're a day one subscriber, you've been here with me since the very, 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 very beginning. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're watching, you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. Let's take a few minutes for you. Good, I'm sure you subscribed and you're gonna give this video a really big thumbs up because it's all about skincare and I really get asked a lot about my skin. I'm very fortunate enough that I have really good skin guys. Even since when I was a teenager, like I'm only 27, I understand that, but it, to me it feels like a lifetime ago. Next year is my 10 year reunion 10 years since matriculation oh my gosh anyways it feels like a long time ago but growing up i never had bad skin um if anything the only thing i didn't like about my skin my skin some my skin is the scarring situation because when i did get some pimples or acne whatever have you whatever you want to call it acne or pimples i feel like i'll be using those terms either or it would leave marks i'm very prone to hyperpigmentation and most people on my skin tone are and it would leave marks but i have figured out things that will help me take away the marks both on my body and on my face um but it's still a learning thing it's, it doesn't mean that when you have good skin and you're not prone to acne it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take care of your skin you should i'm doing i feel like in the last two years i've done a lot more anti-aging things than i ever thought i would because i want the skin that i have to be awesome at 50 60 70 so i need to start now to ensure that happens i don't know black don't crack but black don't crack but it needs a little bit of help as well okay the cleansing part i think is not not that it's not important cleanse your face with whatever works for you i'm just letting you know what has worked for me so the two marcella waters that i use are both from garnier this one has oil and this one doesn't. This one says it's for oily skin prone to imperfections. And this one says it's for dry and sensitive skin. Now why I use both of them is because I feel like I have combination skin. That's just what it is. Um, I'm not sure. I don't feel like it's not necessarily too dry or too oily. That's just what I've noticed. That I have combination skin. And I only use this one more so to remove products that are waterproof or some matte lipsticks that really weren't flipping budge i you go in with this because the oil helps remove this and this one is just generally it's nicer i just like it it's nice and easy no perfume both of them don't smell so i like to use the both of them there's no big deal in using them and i use them with cuts and pads i obviously just start off with my eyes first because that's where <laughs> a lot of product is concealer eyeshadows especially when there's dark eyeshadows as well as lash glue and mascara and liner so i just kind of take a cotton pad with either one of these two marcella waters stick it on there and really go in here then i do my face and then i do my lips so i use quite a number of cotton pads for but i use separate cotton pads for the for those different areas of my face so when i wash my face what i've been currently using and i've been currently using this for a year now i want to say a year it's a good year and a bit but meaning like two three months is the johnson face care even complexion facial facial wash with bursting bees and this is for all skin types it has soy and red berry extracts and it gently gently cleanses without drying for beautiful radiant skin you might have seen this on my instagram or i might have talked about it on my channel but this is what i use after i take off my makeup with marcella water and i can really when it says gently cleanses without drying i can attest to that it really does my face doesn't feel like i've sucked up all the moisture just to get rid of any other makeup that might still be on my face i really enjoy this what i was using before and what i still do use sometimes not always sometimes is the gentle magic soap so i started using it because and I'm, look it's just like like this i don't i don't know about you guys but i don't keep the box that a soap came in that's just 
I don't keep it. So, but you can see it's gently used. It's not even, you can still see it says, it says gentle magic. But so it hasn't been used a lot. What I like to do, I use this more along, not necessarily my T-zone, but my T-zone because I don't put it on my forehead. This area for me is not the problem. It's here and here. So I guess this is a bit of a T-zone because it's a T down here. So the pores here, I feel like can be really big. And I feel like that's something in my family that runs a lot is that we have very big pores over here and the pores on my nose but my lungs on my chin i don't know where i get that from but they can be so humongous and i really don't like the look of them um so i i feel like this really helps to close my pores so the claims of the gentle magic soap is exfoliates reduces bacteria eliminates fungal activity while refreshing for healthy skin cells and what i feel you just you just really work it into the lather over your face like and it's not because it's there's no like what is the word there's no like hard products or anything that's not like the african black soap where you shouldn't put directly to your face if you've watched my video before or this about beauty hacks um go watch it if you haven't it's not like that african black soap where you shouldn't put it directly to your face you can put it on your face and work it into a lather and that's usually what i do and that's usually when i feel like i need to exfoliate my face give it an extra clean especially when i've done a lot of makeup looks during the week i, I tend to do that when i've worn makeup for like three days straight even though i wash my face in between i just feel like i need a day within the week to kind of just give my face that extra scrub okay, and so if i've said this before on my channel i only started using dental magic their facial products because of the acne that i had here now three years ago because of hormones i started using gentle magic products because i watched a youtuber talk about them clearly she spoke about using gentle magic to remove her hyperpigmentation and it really helped me and i ended up using it quite religiously that i even ended up using the gentle magic serum which is basically their moisturizer and the serum contains vitamin b3 and b5 for healthier blemish free skin now when they say it's an intensive moisturizer they do mean it because i remember applying it i remember in her video she mentioned this it, there's a tingling sensation that you do feel once you've applied it it's it's not burning but it's a tingling sen sensation that does go away after a couple of uses but because i don't use this as often i feel like i have this on hand if my skin acts up because it does it's believe my skin acts up i do a lot for my skin but the girl still has acts up so i keep it around and because i don't use it as often my skin's not used to the tinglingness so it will tingle every time i use it but when i used to use both the soap and this very very religiously my skin got used to it it never would never tingle at all the gentle magic skin care mask and that one is quite a nice mask to use it has jojoba beads if i'm it's it looks a lot like this with the beads and stuff inside it but it's just obviously green and i feel like that one is quite moisturizing it's a little bit more it's a little bit more creamier this is a little bit more gel like i really actually like that mask i would recommend using it as well so that's what i usually use to cleanse my face now going on to exfoliating but the only exfoliator i've used is the freeman's polishing charcoal and black sugar gel mask slash scrub which instantly instantly doc detoxes pores and exfoliates for smooth skin i don't know what's going on with my english i think because i used all my english in the beginning and it wasn't even recording it's just gone <laughs> i don't know but it's a bit of a tongue twisting it says that it's a dual action mask using it as a mask to me feels silly watch the previous video about my favorite things you know you've seen me demo this particular scrub now be very careful because your girl made a mistake your girl bought herself this facial washing brush it was 150 at this came very nice and actually came with the batteries which i thought was really cool and it has a holder where's the here's the holder it has a little holder how cute is this and it just has two settings literally this is the first setting and this is the second one and that's it and obviously this is detachable 
and everything so these brushes are definitely for exfoliating right but your girl was very very silly <laughs> she decided she's gonna put a bit of this and use this which i don't recommend because this is already exfoliating the movements of the bristles is what's meant to exfoliate it so i would say use this a brush like this there are different variations different brands have this i just got this nice very affordable one at this came use this in tangent with this because this is supposed to be for gentle cleansing daily cleansing this girl is going to exfoliate and rather you exfoliate with your hands your fingertips in circular motions than with the brush because what happened to me and i was being very silly guys i went like this i'm doing this going around i'm like oh i have something going here going here i don't know why i decided to go in my eyes i feel like because maybe i might have had a little bit of what do you call this stuff i was screw i'm like let me just quickly take some off with the brush the brush will definitely get them i'm like when i put on the mask afterwards i'm like why is it so tingling and so underneath but my eyes use the mask i don't know a day later i was using another mask i was just using a lot of sheet masks a lot of self-care was happening i was on my period okay so then i'm like it's still burning and the third day i noticed over here you can't see it now because it's gone over here that skin was peeling this because i had already had basically scratched myself over here and it was basically forming a scab when it comes to exfoliating please be, be please be very 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 careful going back to this exfoliator it is good sugar is always a great exfoliator um in terms of a lip exfoliator that i do it's a homemade one it's not even a lip. yeah it's a lip scrub because it scrubs off to exfoliating so i just take honey sugar and i do that with my fingers don't do it with a brush of any sort just do it with your fingers and that gets a lot gets rid of dead skin cells and it makes your lips also nice and juicy and moist from the honey so i really like doing that but i really uh, i really like freeman's mask so when i'm done with washing my face i go in with toner now i have this was brand new at the box because i had to go get a new one and the toner that i use is the F african extracts rooibos toner with bioactive rooibos and baobab extract is purifying it removes impurities and tightens pores is for oily and problem skin i don't like that statement problem skin like, what do you mean that can be a number of things but it helps to refresh um, containing bioactive rooibos which hazel to tighten pores baobab extract to reduce oiliness and say salic I know i've heard this word before but i don't know how to pronounce it say say like say. when do you when do it becomes say i'm gonna put on the screen because i don't know how the fuck to say it oops <laughs> but to treat and help prevent spots so after cleansing you apply to know with a cotton wool paying attention to the forehead nose and chin area and i just apply this all over my face it now we're coming to moisturizing our face and hydrating it after all the things that we have done to it to cleanse it and get it nice and squeaky clean what i use guys you guys have known this i use this i've shown it before on my channel is the african extracts rooibos dual action moisturizer with bioactive rooibos and baobab extracts and it has it's a non-greasy moisturizer it is most definitely non-greasy non-greasy at all so even if you have oily skin i would say you can use this and it is for oily and problem skin the problem skin thing but it reduces oiliness so don't think because you're oily you have moisture in your skin no oil and moisture are very very different eh moisture means water so oily skin doesn't mean that your skin can't be dry i wish it came in a much bigger container because it's only 75 mils and it retails it's a bit on the pricey and i must say this stuff this range it's a bit it's a little bit it's not i feel like it's like a little bit higher than johnson just the teeniest tiniest but but it's well worth the coins coming to the sheet mask i use a whole bunch of sheet masks for different types of things but i've just chosen the few that i like 
I like to try out cheap masks. I'm like, ooh, this one has this on the try this. Ooh, this one has this. Ooh, this one's gonna smell like this. I just like to try it. So, but I've just chosen some of the few that I personally love and buy on the regular, regular, schmegular. And it is all mostly Skin Republic. I do love Skin Republic. So I have the Skin Republic Brightening Eye Mask. I have the eye mask because I feel like currently my eye area have been quite dark. And I do believe also not getting enough sleep has been not helping with that. So, but the the, the full face sheet mask is what I also use often. And it's got a prow powerful triple action eye serum targets the entire eye area for bright, youthful looking eyes. Vitamin C, obviously, B3, coffee bean, green tea, brighten dark circles and restore radiance to tired eyes. The cooling serum instantly reduces puffiness and refreshes for a more test rested and youthful appearance so you get three pairs in here and as you can see the price is on the actual thing it's 56.95 now this i feel like i have noticed a difference with not just the eye mask but with the brightening mask itself the full face one and maybe i'm being too overzealous here but i feel like my skin instantly feels and looks brighter but i've used it over a number of times that's the one sheet mask you will find in my little drawer of skincare stuff always there i feel like it does make my skin look nice happy and healthy in terms of anti-aging because i love anti-aging stuff now like guys i've noticed that the older i get the things that are just going to start to appear and what i've been noticing recently and i don't know if it's because of the weather that it's colder your face i mean like i don't have a skin i don't have a different skincare routine for for each season some people do i personally don't because my skin is not she's not fussy hey she likes to act up but she's not fussy so what i do what you have seen is what i use from january to december all the way throughout noticing a little bit is that my under eye area has been looking a bit too dry for my liking a bit too wrinkly and republic also does these eye patches for the under eyes so you get the black charcoal ones and i think you get um the ones in this platinum situation they have different ones for just the under area the aging stuff and i have two masks here for anti-aging and it's literally because i use the other ones <laughs> i don't really <laughs> I don't really use the other ones, guys. So collagen. Collagen is so important, guys. Collagen. Why is collagen important? Collagen is what keeps your skin nice, supple, and stretchy, basically. It helps with the elasticity of your skin. Ooh, did you hear me not fumble on that? So it's the collagen infusion infusion face sheet mask. And it has collagen, elastin, and vitamin E to help revitalize the skin's elasticity tone and firmness helping to minimize the appearance of fine lines guys i'm 27 we're on our way there so let's just stop things right in the track here and now and deep wrinkles it helps skin to appear smooth firm and more youthful i just love the way this makes my skin feel i mean sheet masks in general have this nice serum you know how you if you've done a sheet mask before you know how to apply them but for those who don't obviously you cleanse your skin you remove the mask from the packaging and fold it onto the face you wear it for about 15 to 20 minutes i'm not going to lie i'm going to be very honest with you guys i have kept masks on for a good 30 minutes and that's just because i'm doing other stuff and i forget <laughs> i forget i'm like oh it's 30 minutes i need to go take this off and then what you do is you take the excess serum and it, you can apply it to your neck your decolletage in your hands so your neck this is your decolletage your chest area and obviously your hands and i love to do so and what i like to do is also just kind of lift it up and go a little bit with it over my eyes as well because obviously it has a little holes but i want to make sure every part of my body is just getting all the collagen it needs one that i've just shown you guys very quickly is the youthful youth foil youth foil foil face mask sheet so this one is going to be a little bit shiny i've used a 24 karat gold one it wasn't as shiny as i'd anticipated so i was a little bit let down i haven't used this one before ever but i was intrigued because obviously it's anti-aging so it's an age-defying foil sheet mask which delivers one way surge of youth activating concentrate immersing your skin in a double dose of hydro hy hyaluronic hey guys so today yes sis. 
This high performance foil backed sheet mask locks in moisture for nourished, younger, and more luminous looking skin. Another really hydrating mask is the Freeman's Hydrating Glacier Water Pink Pony Gel Cream Mask. It's a leave on mask which instantly calms and softens for glowing skin. Now, unlike with the other two, you don't wash this one off, even though the packaging is all quite similar. I love the packaging also, and I feel like Siemens, I think this is 100 Rand if I'm not mistaken, and that is how many moles is this? It's 175 moles. Are the other ones also 175 moles? Yeah, they're all 175 moles. I don't think it's a bad price for what it does and what you get. I, I think it's quite reasonably priced. There are definitely much, much, much more expensive masks and cleansers that are half the size and double the price. So this one, what you do is you it drenches your skin in a dewy hydration and protects it from environmental pollutants with this lightweight leave-on gel cream facial mask. So the direction says that you apply the skin to your face and your neck. Because guys, please remember, your neck is a part of your face. When it comes to putting SPF, do not forget your neck. Your neck is very much a part of your face. Wash this entire area. You see this? Even at the back. You must wash here. You must be squeaky clean all over. This up is your face. Your neck is not a part of your body. It's part of your face. Okay? So wash it. Apply it. Moisturize it. Moisturize it. Oh my gosh, guys. People do not moisturize their neck. Sasha, moisturize it. Okay? Make sure that it's... So when you're older, you don't have all this sagging skin as well. Put collagen. Keep the elasticity, darling. You must be snatched. It's a part of your face. As much as your face is snatched and looking age-defying, so should your neck because that's how people will be able to tell your age by looking at your neck. You leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes or all day or overnight. The gel cream absorbs into the skin with no need to rinse, no need to worry about getting it on your pillow. On your pillow, use it twice per week or as often as needed. Now, I've used it overnight and I like it. It doesn't get onto my pillows. I mean, I have a silk pillowcase, so maybe sometimes you can see, but it kind of just dries and goes away. But I really, it smells nice. It makes my face feel great. So I love it. So that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe. Please go follow me on Instagram and comment on my previous video to enter into the giveaway if you haven't already. If you have, go tell your friends to do the same thing. Then maybe you can share the prize amongst yourself. for something for everybody. You need to look after your skin from head to toe. So this was just me sharing how I take care of this very pretty face when she doesn't have makeup on. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please stay safe and make good choices. Bye.